Welcome back. Oracle is a powerhouse in Silicon Valley and the world. It is the leader in the cloud business, which is now a mega industry in every industry. I sat down with Oracle CEO Mark Hurd and asked him about the state of the cloud industry and where he sees Oracle going in the future. If you looked at the overall IT industry, the consumer part of the IT industry continues to grow uh, quite quickly. The B2B part, if you will, what company spend is, has been you know, a little bit of growth, flattish really over the past several years. But within it, uh, Maria, a lot of shift to what you're calling the cloud. And there's a lot of drivers uh, and business reasons and technical reasons uh, to do that. And so we, Oracle, have invested a lot uh, in trying to realize that, that opportunity for our customers. And that's been true at multiple parts of the cloud. There's an applications piece to the cloud, which most people call SaaS. There's a, a platform part to the cloud. Platforms are really everything that's not an application or not a computer or storage. And then there's an infrastructure part to the cloud. And, and we've invested in all three parts of that. And over the past several quarters, you know, we've been getting bigger uh, meaning our revenue has been growing and our growth rate has really been accelerating, meaning our growth rate has actually been going up. Um, and so last quarter was, as we get bigger, you know, to your point, Maria, we'll probably start to grow slower, uh, just uh, models. But right now we're growing faster than any scaled cloud company uh, in the industry. Yep. And it's because of what I said, it's all of the different factors uh, in all of the different parts of the cloud. Now, we, we've been watching in the last 10 years or so, companies, big companies, a lot of your customers sit on cash. They were unwilling to put that money to work. They were unwilling to invest in terms of IT and, and, and R&D. Are you seeing the purse strings getting loosened now? Are you seeing your customers want to spend more on items like <laughs> cloud computing? Cer certainly, I want to get into autonomous cars and I want to get into cybersecurity. I know that's a big spend as well. But broadly speaking, are you seeing a change in terms of how businesses are spending? You know, I think, listen, there's always um, a lot of rigor around how particularly big companies spend money. A lot of scrutiny on, you know, what the return is for this project or that project. And I would not say that that has changed. Uh, I don't mean that to be, Maria, a negative statement or, frankly, uh, anything other than there continues to be scrutiny over how people invest. I think in the case of cloud, because cloud has characteristics of overall lowering uh, total cost of ownership for a company, it tends to be where you see a lot of projects moving forward. Most companies today are trying really to lead with cloud, move to cloud first. Many companies have a lot of applications, a lot of capabilities that frankly right now can't move to cloud as fast as others. So most of our customer environments are, if you will, hybrid environments, but, but cloud investments typically get approved much more quickly than than what we've seen in the past. I was struck by, by reading the, the idea that it you're also cutting costs uh, in half compared to Amazon, 100 times more reliable. How are you cutting costs by coming out with these new new innovations and products? Yeah, it's a, it's a very good question. So it, it, even if what happens is when you can do a job, when you basically pay for infrastructure by the amount of time you use the infrastructure to get a task done, um, it would be like having um, the same fares on a, uh, on a piece of transportation uh, the same rates, if you will, but one can get you there in uh, two seconds, the other one can get you there in five minutes. So while the rates might be the same, you're going to pay a lot more for the one that can get you there in five minutes than the one can get you there in two seconds. And because of our ability now to, do, to, to deal with the technology the way I described, whereas, if you will, the technology is driving the technology. It is autonomous. There is no labor. There is no patching. There is no tuning. It is done by our computer capability, our technical capability. You frankly just eliminate tons of cost and you accelerate the task and therefore all those benefits accrue in price. And it's a lower price significantly for the customer. <laughs>